Hi guys, it's Maha. We're back again for Maha's Picks and we're already in August. So I'm going to start my series with in this first video to talk about my gemstone of the month, which is Peridot. So for this month, I wanted to pick a crystal that's linked to Leo and Virgo because uh, until August 21st, we've got the sign of Leo, and then we have Virgo coming in. And Leo's ruler is the sun, and Peridot is linked to the sun as well as Virgo. Virgo's ruler is Mercury, which is uh, linked to the mind. So we've got this mix of heart and mind, and that's what I like to call my Peridot stone of the month, is the stone of heart and mind. And I like to kind of uh, start by not just giving you a list of properties. I want to build a narrative in these series, a narrative by using, using visual imagery, connections to astrology, connections to chakras and colors, because I really feel that it's just one of my passions is finding connections between everything in nature. And, and also my, one of my other passions is bringing astrology and tarot and crystals together. So let's go ahead and have a look right now. So Peridot is the gemstone quality of olivine. Since it has this connection to the sun, it is really helpful for depression. It brings this uh, joyful ray of light to us and it helps to uplift our mood. Here I've got uh, this gorgeous chip necklace that I've made. Um, it has a very specific, transparent, very irresistible green color. And I've taken close-ups of all the stuff that I'm going to show you so you can really appreciate the, the beautiful green color of the stone. This is how it comes in nature. I've got this little rock. And you can see there's little crystals formed on top. This is how you usually find peridot, which is why a lot of times you can find it in chips like this these right here and I also got this pendant gemstone pendant here that I really like peridot is highly prized in crystal healing today and it has been since ancient times in fact the Romans are quite known for having worn peridot to ward off depression and illness and also as protection against enchantments. It is a gemstone associated with the wounded healer. Now the wounded healer is someone who has gone through an illness uh, or a difficult wound and has been able to heal themselves through their own knowledge and research and because of that they've gained a lot of wisdom and insight and then they're able to help others and also because they have gone through a lot of pain they're able to empathize and be compassionate towards others who are going through similar things in Greek mythology Chiron is the half man half horse god associated in astrology to healing and he was accidentally wounded by his friends, uh, his friend Hercules or Heracles' poisonous arrow. And because he was an immortal, he had to suffer through this pain until later, as the story goes, he exchanged his immortality with Prometheus, so he was able to end his suffering. And so he became a hero and went into the constellation of Sagittarius as the half-man, half-horse. And he is associated to healing. Um, Peridot is a really healing stone. It's a very warming stone, just like the energy of the sun. In medieval times, it's known to have been uh, worn for gaining foresight, inspiration, and eloquence, which are all attributes given to the sun god Apollo. All right, so let's go ahead and look at the photos that I've taken. We'll come back and discuss this further.
Okay, so I just wanted to say one cool little fact here. Peridot was spotted on the moon as well as Mars. So not only is it abundant on Earth, it's also found in those two planets. Now I'm going to bring in Tarot. So we have the Sun card, which is associated with the Sun in the Rider Waite system. And we have the Hermit, which is associated to Virgo. So as I speak, if you don't know anything about Tarot, you can just um, look at these images and see if you can find any connections in what I'm going to say about the healing properties of Peridot. So hopefully you're able to see in those photos I showed you the beautiful green color of Peridot. It is related to the heart as well as the solar plexus chakra. So the heart chakra is green and solar plexus is yellow. So we get kind of this like beautiful lime green mixture when those two colors are mixed together. However, um, it can come in a lighter shade and a slightly deeper shade of green. And the deeper shade of green is sometimes called um, evening emerald. Peridot clears the blockages between the solar plexus and the heart. So if there's anything stuck, any stagnant energy, it allows love to flow in which is kind of how it's connected to our personal expression and creativity because it's when our heart is open we're really able to fully express ourselves and the act of creativity itself it's a very it's a purely playful act if you think about children um, all children are they have fun when they make art and when they draw they're very expressive but adults are a little bit more hesitant. In fact, there's actually a really nice quote by Pablo Picasso. He said, all children are artists. The challenge is to remain an artist when one becomes an adult. I thought that was kind of perfect because we also have the child here in the sun card. So uh, in astrology, Virgo is associated, um, is ruled by Mercury, the planet Mercury, and Mercury is all about the mind. Um, and it's believed that Peridot stimulates the mind and increases mental capacities. The part of the body that's related to Virgo is are the intestines. And the intestines are where we absorb nutrients, and Peridot is actually good for digestion on all levels and um, emotionally it helps us to digest and absorb difficult emotions to be able to handle them and deal with them better. The color green of Peridot they say resembles the color of bile which is also another interesting thing because it's been since ancient times uh, used to cure illnesses and diseases of the liver and gallbladder and um, it also helps with jealousy or envy or being the victim of those two things. If you ever heard, um, the, there's this expression that says, uh, green with envy. So it makes me think of that when I think of the color green again. The sun in astrology is uh, associated not only to the heart, but it's associated as uh, when we look at the chart, we look at we look to the sun uh, for personal uh, the personal self or ego, the individuality. It's where we shine or where we like to show our uniqueness. And um, the sun in our solar system uh, really is ev where everything revolves around the sun. So it is the center. And Leo is known to be wanting the, to be like the center of attention and being in the spotlight. And Peridot helps with, it's good for the heart and brings confidence. And it also help, helps us to, um, it helps to grow the desire for personal growth. And personal growth is something, uh, again, in astrology that's associated with developing that, the healthy ego. Virgos are known to be very self-critical and Peridot is said to be good for that. Now to me that's because um, I think it's because when the heart is open, when we're open, when we're able to open up the heart channel we can allow self-love to 
come into us and it, because it's when we don't accept a part of ourselves that we can become self-critical. And we also said that Peridot is associated to Scorpio and Sagittarius. The two cards um, associated with that are temperance and death. Death for Scorpio, temperance for Sagittarius. So we called them, we talked about Chiron and healing. Now temperance, one of the key words associated with temperance is healing. And we and a key word that's linked to Scorpio, actually a lot of the keywords link to the planet Mars. Planet Mars uh, is traditionally in astrology associated with Scorpio. And Mars is all about regeneration, regeneration of tissues and purification of the blood. It's linked to the adrenal glands and it helps with metabolism and it is also linked to the nervous system. And um, Peridot is actually good for all of those things. It helps regeneration of tissues and strengthens and purifies the blood. It strengthens metabolism and it calms anger, which is, uh, you know, it's kind of what the god Aries, the Greek god Aries or Mars, the Roman god was known for. He was very impulsive and got angry quickly. So that's that. And coming back to our uh, the sun and hermit, Peridot reminds us that we are unique individuals and allows us to really express our uniqueness, to shine our inner light. And here we see the hermit. He's in the dark, but his lantern is leading him the way. It is by trusting that inner light that we can walk our path with confidence. Thanks so much for watching. That's all I'm going to say for Perido. Please join me in the next two parts of Maha's Picks. And I hope this video was useful to you and hope you enjoyed it. Thanks a lot for watching again. See you in the next videos.